hello guys welcome back to the channel and a quick one please before i continue with this this is an update and before i continue with this update i want to tell you that tomorrow you would sign you would see a video on this channel talking about some colleges in canada that are open and their tuition fee and some other things you need to know all right this is a very short video and you shouldn't expect it to be too long now i want to talk about something few days back i think um is it three days ago or two days ago something like that i posted a video on this page and i was telling you that that is the cheapest school you should apply to the school don't need ielts all right you pay just 500 dollars uh, when accepted to keep your position to apply for a study visa i even told you that there is somebody i gave admissions to who is going to this uh, college in canada it is in new brunswick and it is called nbcc new brunswick community college and i told you that it was open i remember even telling most of us that you should apply as early as possible because it is for september 2024 but a lot of people are waiting to apply because it is cheap today as i'm talking to you the portal was closed about uh, maybe six or seven hours ago that's yesterday in canada time you understand so now the the admissions team is saying that they had a lot of influx of applications and they are saying that they would be opening the portal in some days to come when is the day let me just read the message from here so you understand important notice due to unprecedented volume of international applications all right received for fall 2024 that's september intake of 2024 nbcc has made the decision to temporarily close its its international application portal for one week effectively from thursday july 6th 2023 at 3 30 p.m which means that if you had applied to this college before 3 30 p.m canada time then your application will be considered according to how the applications came in this temporal closure will allow time for processing existing ex, uh, existing applications so they want to process the applications that are in their system to know who they are admitting and who they are not admitting before they will open the portal again for international students to apply so what you need now to know is that they also said please visit the page on thursday july 13 2023 for updates all right so they will open it again and note if you applied prior to this thursday uh if you applied before thursday at this time your application will be processed in order they will receive and however mbcc reserve the right to consider other factors as program eligibility do you now understand this is why i always tell international students check requirements first there are some programs on that website i saw myself that were asking for mathematics english and a whole lot for english requirements and english uh, submission and some other people some other programs equally had some other requirements application fee payment i how did i know that this program is closed yesterday as i'm you are watching this video yesterday i did an application for someone and i closed very late from my office all right for someone who already we negotiated we nego and she said okay milton please and everything was settled and i did it immediately i submitted that application it was around maybe 1 p.m and this portal was closed around 3 p.m you understand so this is how some of these things are and someone applied from uae and told me this morning that she tried paying the application fee it was closed i was like how did it happen i just woke up from my sleep so i said okay let me check before i noticed that this was what happened now this is what is going to happen there is a tendency that these people will open the portal the admissions team will open the portal and most of the programs will be gone i mean like close there is still a tendency that they would say that at the end of the day they will say that they had too much they cannot accept again and that is it about fall 2024 which means that you cannot apply to this cheap school again you have to look elsewhere and now looking at the colleges in canada a part of those in maybe nova scotia and new brunswick almost all those in ontario are from fourteen thousand dollars up and most of them are asking for two semesters maybe there are two years programs you have to pay one semester semester one and two for first year and semester three and four for second year where are you going to take thirty two thousand maybe thirty thousand thirty two thousand dollars from before your living cost ten thousand before miscellaneous before you you check all of these things your, your proof of funds need to be going to close to like 40k uh, dollars that's a lot of millions where will you get such money from well i know there are other possibilities <clears throat> you can use but again please pay attention to this there are some other cheap schools you can check check around nova scotia all right 
you may get something now the main reason i want to i brought this video here was to explain this to you remember this is for next year september these programs that are closed now in case you are admitted please make sure by march 2023 you should apply for your visa this is the reason why you should apply by march so that in case you are rejected in march you fix the problem and go in april do you understand in case you are rejected in april you fix the problem and go again for me you understand so that you find your way and enter into canada i'm just telling you the facts if you do not find your way into canada now all right from maybe 2024 2025 you will need to crack canada with a coconut to enter it's going to be very tough yeah i know some people will come and they will not abide with it but that is not a problem my question my issue here is to share this with you those who wants to listen should understand all right when you see an opportunity do not waste a lot of time especially a cheap opportunity like this things like this are rare mbcc how much do they charge nine thousand for a year all right even if it's for two years or maybe you pay per semester it's still cheap compared to other colleges yeah this is the fact i'm telling you so now when you follow that system it's going to be possible another thing i want to tell you guys is that i see a lot of people they don't know this they don't even care to know someone came to me and was asking me milton do i need proof of funds to move abroad come on what have i been teaching on facebook my facebook page is milton funquas consulting all right i share a lot of tips there you can follow it i share how can you be asking if you need a proof of funds to move abroad of course you do you need a visa no visa no visa will be given to you without proof of funds no government wants liabilities all right so this is something you should put into consideration guys please put this into consideration it is very very important no government wants liabilities again the only case you may not need proof of funds is when you get a fully funded scholarship that is the only exception even if it's a partial funding or if it's even if it's partial funding you still need proof of funds it must be fully funded which means that they are going to give you everything and in most cases pay your flights you understand yes this is what you need to know so i believe this is update that will help you maybe if you have some more questions remember you should be applying to schools before consider your proof of funds consider your money before you apply don't go and you choose a program in a college for eighteen thousand dollars someone called me a few days back and we we're talking and he said uh somebody i don't want to mention a lot of details they got him a program for 20k and the program is two years that's 40k he intends to move with family of three how much is that calculate and see and he's again from nigeria and the proof of funds rate the cbn rate content from canadian dollars to naira or from naira to canadian dollars or that exchange rate is different it has increased hello guys welcome back to our page if this is your first time here please do not forget to like this video and also share this page with one individual for those of you who have been asking me milton how much do i need to study in canada this is the video you need to watch now please share this video with one person at least to one person if you want to study in canada there are things you need to do before you start the plan the first thing you need to do is to look for a school, either a college or a university. Then after you've looked for this college or university, you need to check if what you want to study is available. Then after you check what you want to study, if it's available, then you now check the deadlines, the tuition fee, the requirements. After checking the deadline, the tuition fee and the requirement, if you are good to apply, then that is when you are applying. But remember, I also mentioned that you need to check the tuition fee. Tuition fee now is going to tell you how much you need for the program. And from there, you will then know what you need. But before I continue with the video, please, a complete video about proof of funds to study in Canada is on my YouTube channel. So make sure you verify from there and subscribe to the channel so that you always follow all the updates I give. Okay, now. When you know your tuition fee in that particular program, if the program is a one year program or a two years program, you already know how much it is. Also add 10,000 Canadian dollars to it. Then that 10,000 Canadian dollars you are adding to it is money for living costs according to the Canadian government. So now you have your tuition fee, you have money for living costs. Then also add miscellaneous at least five thousand dollars you are adding miscellaneous for five thousand dollars because miscellaneous is like transportation and flights 
okay so you want to tell the officials that you have enough money your living costs your tuition fee plus miscellaneous in order to study in canada this is how the process of canada or study in canada works now you need to also understand that these monies are monies you need to have in your bank account before you apply for visa it is now your duty to verify with the university's website or the school how much you need to pay after you get your conditional offer because you need to pay a deposit to get your own conditional offer to apply for the visa i hope you are getting me so it is now your duty to verify with the school to know how much they are asking you to pay some schools you will find it on the website some schools you will not see it on their website so it is still your position to ask make sure you check a school that you would pay just like 500 dollars to get your con your own conditional letter to apply for the visa because if you pay all your tuition fee most of the times and you get a rejection, it will be difficult for you to retrieve your money. You will retrieve it, of course, but most of the times it's difficult and need a lot of time and patience. So I hope I answered your question on how much you need. Then after you've calculated all of this, you now need to calculate your flight. Remember the flight you are calculating is the one you are going to pay to move to Canada. It is not the amount that is in your proof of funds, but again, all the money must be in your account for those who can sponsor you over who can hold the money in his or her account there are videos like that i'm still going to talk about that who can sponsor you all right the long video is on the channel now this is a shorter version of the video for proof of funds so please follow the rest or the longer version on this youtube channel or pa i hope you understand thank you so much till we meet again